hear me? Sorry, we are a few minutes late. We got a new little sound system, so I have a mic. So I need everybody to let us know, can you hear us? How does it sound? And if I need to make any adjustments, because last week I felt like we were kind of echoing a lot, and so I went out and bought this little lapel. So let me know, please, in the comments below, if you guys can hear us and if the sound is good. Hopefully we are good. So, yes, Lux? I just want to make sure everybody can hear me before yeah. I copy. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay. All right. So today we're starting off with Sasha's puppies that were just born on Friday. So they are almost a week old. Um, and we have a boy and a girl. Let's see. This is our little boy. I'm going to come up close so you guys can see them real fast. Lex, are we good? The little boy? Can I see him? Yes. All right, and then the little girl. So as you can tell, they don't even have their eyes open yet. And um, for those of you new on our channel, they don't open their eyes until they're about two weeks old. And so um, right now their eyes are closed and their ears are closed. And so they can't hear us, so we could clap, make all kinds of noise, and they have no idea what's going on. Everything is by smell right now and by touch. Um, so they're sniffing, trying to figure out where their mom and dad are, but they can't hear and they can't see. Um, so I just wanted to start off with them real quick. Huh? <laughs> okay, I was just told that our amazing camera guy is on, and I want to thank Mr. I believe we say his name as Shadi. Shadi, I believe. So thank you, Shadi, for helping us um, this afternoon. So that is why we have a new sound system. And hopefully by the next time we go live, we are going to have a whole new camera set up. Um, and that is going to be super, super exciting because the goal is to have one camera over here with the puppies, one camera over here with us. And so when we do that, then we could actually just push a button and you'll be able to see multiple cameras at the same time. So we are super excited, but unfortunately we ran out of time. We aren't able to set everything up in such a short amount of time. So next week, you guys are gonna be in for a huge, huge surprise. So that I cannot wait for. So anyways, nice to see you. I'm glad you got to join. Um, and we will get back to the show. So the babies are almost a week old and I just just wanted to let everybody see them before we jump into um, a couple other things before we do that remember we get to name puppies so we are on the letter L and this is Sasha's litter so we have one boy I need a name for a boy with the letter L and then I need a name for a girl with an L so <laughs> um, if you guys can please give us some name ideas and then um, by the end of the show, we'll see if we can't pick up some names for these two little monkeys. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys can hear that. Can they hear that? Um, so the older puppies are saying, we want out, we want out. So if you guys can, Lex, is anybody giving us any name ideas? Yeah, me. <laughs> Lex. <laughs> My daughter wants us to name the little girl after her, Lex. Well, actually, that, uh, that would be Joseph confusing. Kennedy said Lex and Lexi. Oh. So, now, that would be fun, huh? Lexi and Leo. Lexi, Leo. Are you Larry there? and Lucy. <laughs> oh my god, Lucy, that's cute. Let's see if you guys can see the babies. Lance and London. Aww. So, Lemon and Lime. <laughs> oh my god, Lemon and Lime is awesome. That is so cute. Can they see them good? Yes. Awesome. Um, um, I'm going to bring it down just a smidge. Okay. I feel like we're crooked, but I think it's fine. It, we are crooked, huh? Yeah, just a little bit. I can tip the one side. How? That. The whole thing, yeah. Yeah, but it won't stay. Okay, then it's going to be the light. No, I fixed the legs. It was fine before we fixed this. It's because we added all this weight, so we have all this stuff on top of the camera up here, so now it's like this. Does it look pretty bad? 
I don't think we, so. We could change it. We could fix I mean, it. It's, uh, it is kind of crooked. Okay, so hold on. We're going to fix you guys because I don't like crookedness. Yeah, it's definitely crooked. Did that fix it? No. See because the leg like, break? That's no, that's, yeah. Yeah, I think that's better. Is that better? I think so. Let me see. Oh yeah, yep, you're more straight now. Perfect, and so. Okay, so we have a lot of names. Lucy, Leo. Lexi. Lexi. London. London, Lemon. lemon. And Lime. Lime. <laughs> All we need is a Corona. <laughs> uh, that's so cute. Do you have any, do you have any input? Um, I like, oh, this one's cute, Lola. Lola. Or Lulu. <laughs> well, Alexis does like Lulu lemons. So we could name Lulu and lemon. <laughs> uh, hi, babies. Um, we have a lot of names. Do we? Yeah, a lot. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. All right, so while you guys are still plugging in those names, I'm going to ask you guys to do me a favor and give us a thumbs up so that we know that you guys are enjoying our live stream and that way we know to keep doing this every week. Um, and so we're going to put these little guys away and I'm going to grab um, the three and four week olds. So we have Ruse puppies that are four weeks old today. And there's two boys. Remember, we named them after um, some of your guys' suggestions. So we named Jax and Jasper. And um, I'm going to bring them out along with Lily's puppies that are three weeks old. And they are um, Kato. What did we name them? Kato. Oh, uh, are there folders down here? Mm, no. Kato. Uh, Kinapak and I don't remember. Oh well, we named them already, and they are our all of their names are already on our website with their um, photo Cora. albums. Oh yeah, Cora, that's right. So Cora, Kinapak, and um, Kato are those puppies. So we're gonna bring them out right now, so you can see them because these guys are kind of boring, huh? They don't move very much. Uh, so. Give me a second so I could give Sasha her babies. And then, um, somebody want to hand me the other babies? Right there. The Ruse. Ruse and Lilies. And here we go. Hopefully, the sound's still good. Yeah, just these there. Just these ones. Nope, just these ones. Let's see. They're coming. <laughs> yep. see how alive they are. So the two bigger boys are Ruse puppies. Hi, handsome. Hi, buddy. Um, hey, Lex, do you remember we named the, we named the bigger one Jax. Yes? Uh, uh, the lighter one? I believe so. Yes, we did. We did. We did. Jax so, and Jasper. Yeah, Jax and Jasper. So the... <gasps> Good um, baby going pee. <laughs> uh, the these two are Ruse puppies. So this one is Jax and Jasper. I'll come up close for you guys because I know I'm kind of far. Hi, little mama. Let's see. Oh, thank you for the kisses. Oh, thank you. All right, let's see. All right. Are we good? Can I see good? Yes. All right. So there's Jax, and I'll be working on their video tomorrow for you guys. Um, so when um, the puppies are four weeks old, this is Jasper. And of course his ears will go up. They're still down because he's still little and he's growing into his ears. Um, but when 
our puppies turn four weeks old, we do a video of the litter and that is um, for anyone who's on our waiting list so that way you guys can see them interact. Of course, we're doing live streams now, but sometimes you guys really don't get to capture what we can um, whenever we see them. <laughs> Hi, baby. Um, all day, of course, and so we try to get some footage of the babies for you guys, and that way it helps you guys make a better um, decision if you guys are wanting to try to get one of these puppies. Um, so we will do that tomorrow, and then, of course, if you are on our list, you'll get that email tomorrow with the puppy offers. And then um, the younger three, which are obviously a lot smaller. Let's see where you're going, mister. Um, you coming up? You coming up? Hi, buddy. Hi. And then uh, Lily's three puppies are um, going to be offered late next week, hopefully. We'll see if I can keep up. Do we have questions? No, ma'am. Awesome. Um, I know last week a lot of you guys were asking about Rue's puppies and their size and their eye color. And so um, they are probably both going to be standards. And um, they're both pretty good size. So they're probably both going to be standards. They're both gray and white. And they're both blue eyed. And... Um, this little guy here, thank you, is um, Jasper. He is identical to Rue. When Rue was a puppy, that's exactly what she looked like. Thank you, thank you. And, hi guys. So these guys, this is the first time they've been in here whenever we're actually doing the live stream. So they're checking everything out. And you I have just... a question. Okay. Um... I saw a post on the Klee Tribe Facebook page about their masks and how they can change quite a bit as they get older. I know you have the short video about Simba and how his looks changed. I was wondering if you might be able to expand on that and show or talk about more changes, like what features may become more or less pronounced. Um, I can. So on the, on the black and whites, um, there's really not a whole lot that changes when it comes to the coloring, like the grays. They change so much. So what they look like as a little puppy, they look nothing like that whenever they're a little older. But the blacks will still keep, for the most part, they're going to keep the same markings. Um, the difference will be like if they have what's called a split mask or an open mask. And that is what this little girl has. And so a split mask or an open mask is when they don't have a full nose bar. So I'm going to bring these guys up to show you. So the nose bar meaning what, what goes down their muzzle. So on his nose, if you see the markings, they go all the way down. It's all one solid color. So this guy has a full, what is considered a full mask. So he's going to keep that full mask. It's going to change a lot in color because he's a gray and white. And then you have what is considered a split bar or a split mask, uh, depending on who you talk to. And what that is, is something like this. So a split mask means there's usually a white line that goes down the center. Would you stop climbing up me? Here. There's a white line, if you can see that. And then there's the two lines on the side. So it's split that makes sense. And this could be with or without a blaze. So what's up here on the top, this white hair is called a blaze. And so they can keep that or sometimes it'll go away. I can tell you this guy, he is, is hers is pretty prominent. So it's going to stay. And then you got what we would call an open mask. And that's when going down the nose bar, it's all white. So you can see so she's got the markings that are up here by the eyes and the eyebrows, but going down her nose is completely white. So this is what they would call an open mask. And so an open mask and a split mask are going to change a lot. So sometimes they'll end up starting like this, but before they're eight, 10, 12 weeks, they actually end up being a split mask. And so the lines will actually start to come down and you'll see the coloring come in usually between 10 to 14 weeks. Hey Alexis, I forgot my water over there. Can you grab it for me? Yes, I can. Um, so, so that's what will change a lot. Now, Rue's puppies, if you see them, thank you. You're very welcome. 
So Rue's puppies both have um, a little bit of a split, if you see that, and you see this guy. Put your nose down. On Rue's puppy, this lighter gray, this is Jack's, this is probably all gonna fill in. So he's probably gonna end up with this all being filled in and that um, will be considered a full mask once he's a little bit older. Now on him, he has a very, very light blaze right here on his forehead and that may or may not disappear. And that's really, really hard for us to determine um, whenever they're puppies because it can stay for a long time and then one time they'll shed and it'll just disappear. And this one, Jasper's markings are definitely different than Jack's. And so he has um, more of a prominent split than his brother and his blaze is a little bit bigger. So my guess is he would probably keep his blaze, but it's gonna be really small when he's a little bit older. Um, and then his white line on going down his nose, which is his split will probably stay as well. But what'll probably happen is it's gonna get thinner. So the white's gonna get narrower and he's gonna have more coloring going down his um, muzzle. And so that's going to most likely stay, but there's really no guarantee. So that's the cool thing about this breed <laughs> is that um, you really don't know what you're gonna get. Like sometimes you think, oh my God, this is the color. And then before you know it, they have all of this tan color is gonna disappear and they're more gray and white. And so they're not like a cookie cutter German Shepherd or Rottweiler that has the same markings over and over. Every puppy is different, so it's really hard to say for sure. Um, oh. <laughs> well, that's the doorbell. <laughs> that's what we get for live. <laughs> it's probably an Amazon package. <laughs> is it? Um, hopefully. Oh, okay. Um, and so it's really hard to know for sure, but it's kind of cool because you don't know for sure, which is awesome because it's fun to see how they change over the several um, months. Where are you going? Um, with regards to like how they'll look as an adult, uh, it is really hard to know for sure. I can tell you like somebody who's really light gray, I can tell um, that they're going to look like Simba. They'll be more salt and pepper and no one in here will be like that. A lot of puppies, um, you see the black line going down their backs on the grays and you'll see this on reds too. So a red will have a darker color of red going down their back. Um, that'll get more distinguished once they get a little older too. And so almost every gray you'll see that, but the light, light grays, you don't see it until they're older. Once they blow that first puppy coat and then it'll start to come in. Um, blacks, you can pretty much see there is still a darker line there. Uh, hopefully they can see that. Um, and then there's, it's a little wider on the sides, which is um, because of their undercoat. So their undercoat is, um, if, if they're really, really dark gray or dark black, I'm sorry, then the undercoat is going to be really dark. So let's show you that. I know everybody wants to climb on me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hi, buddy. Okay, so when you see a black and white puppy, I wish I had another black and white puppy to show you that was lighter. Um, but sometimes you'll see a black and white puppy and you'll see that it, they look more silver on the sides or more um, lighter black and white. And a lot of people will call that a dilute black and white or a salt and pepper. And that's because the undercoat is lighter. And so on this puppy, his undercoat or her undercoat is pretty dark. So if I hold back and just let it go through on my fingers here, you could see that the undercoat, which is what's the coloring underneath here, is really, really dark. Hopefully, can they see that okay? Yes. Um, so that's why this puppy is so much darker of a black and white, where some of them are lighter black and white. So some of the lighter ones will have um, a really light um, white color, uh, light, light gray color, and so that's what'll make a lot of difference in the colors of blacks. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi. Um, hopefully that answered some of her questions or his questions. I have another one. Okay. Um, I know they come with their first vaccination shots. Do they also come with their first deworming treatment? 
They actually will have at least three dewormings. Um, so all of our puppies have at least three dewormings. They are also microchipped before they leave and they um, have their first set of shots. So they are microchipped, but the microchip is not registered yet. So when you get your puppy, you'll have um, some paperwork to fill out and you'll need to register that microchip into your name. Um, and without doing that, they really don't know who the puppy um, belongs to if something were to happen to your puppy and get out and get lost. <laughs> You are loud. You are very loud. Um, so those are what your puppy will have whenever they leave here. That's all. Awesome. Okay. Um, so you guys are really rambunctious. Who's behind me? Who's that behind me? Who is that? Oh, it's you. Um, the sound is still good? Um. Yes, the sound is good. Just don't play on my bed. Please don't play on my bed. Here, here, look, look, look. Uh -huh. Hopefully. If the sound is not good, guys, make sure you let us know in the comments so that we can fix it because, like I said, we've never used this um, mic before. But hopefully it will improve um, the quality for you guys so everyone can hear and there's no echo. depend on your vet and the area that you're in and every vet's a little different so um, our puppies are given their first set of shots as close to eight weeks as possible and you can get their next set um, anywhere from two to four weeks apart so they need to have at least three sets sometimes depending on your area they'll say four sets so three to four sets two to four weeks apart so it could be as late as 16 weeks before they've had all of their vaccines which is why one of the videos I explained that it's, it's really missing the opportunity for socializing if you wait until your puppy has all of their vaccines before you do that stuff and you're eating the cable to the sound. That's not good. Um, and so we, we really recommend that you guys try to do as much socializing and getting your puppy out um, after they've had their second set of shots because you don't wanna miss that opportunity of the first 12 weeks for socializing. Um, we do it as close to eight weeks and in Southern California, if you do the first set as close to eight weeks, um, our vets recommend they only need three sets. And so if you do them three weeks apart, eight weeks, um, 11 weeks, and then uh, 14 weeks. So you have a few weeks less than the 16 weeks that you could potentially have if you waited. And so the sooner the better, obviously, if you can. Are you peeing right there? Oh no, you're just learning how to walk. You're learning how to walk. Um, and so that's why we try to encourage you guys to get them as soon as your vet will allow you to, so that way they're protected. Um, at least if they have to, you can feel pretty comfortable with going to friends and families and walking through your neighborhood. I just definitely wouldn't go to any dog parks until they've had everything, and definitely not any type of um, parks or um, public places that you aren't sure um, who's there, you can't control the environment, so you want to stay away from those places. But other than that, you want to try to get them as many places as you can. Hi. Hi, babies. How many puppies are you expecting in about two to three months? Um, well, it's really hard to predict that because we just, for one, we don't know if um, somebody's conceived, we don't know how many puppies we can get. And so we can have anywhere from one to six puppies in a litter, um, or most ever be in six in a litter, but then we could have a female who um, doesn't conceive or we decide not to breed her. So going out that far is really hard to predict. Um, dogs are only pregnant for 63 days, which is nine weeks. So if we're talking three months from now, they haven't even bred yet. So it's really hard to say for sure. Um, it's a couple of litters for sure we know we have um, gonna be due in July. And speaking of new puppies, um, we just did a ultrasound of um, Cessna this morning and I did film it, but um, 
I wasn't able to get it on because we're going live and I can't plug that in. However, I do have it, so I will share it with our waiting list people. And I think there's four, there's possibly even a fifth. Um, so Cessna is due, her first due date is the 30th. Um, so that's pretty exciting. And so we are hoping for one more litter this month, hopefully four, maybe five, if we're super, super lucky. And then July, maybe two. And then from there, I don't know. Um, you guys are climbers today, huh? You guys are climbers. Yeah, you're a climber. Do we want to get, um, I have a few more questions. Okay. If you want to wait okay. a minute. Yeah, sure. Um, can you share some information about the general personality traits? Do females and males have the same general temperament? Um, so that's a great question. We get that actually, we get asked that a lot. And um, in general, every dog is, is their own personality. And so what we're saying is just a roundabout way, but it's not necessarily 100% accurate. Um, for us, our boys tend to be a little uh, less dominant, um, definitely more goofy and a little bit longer to mature. So they'll take um, a couple years to mature when our girls will be mature and um, act like an adult dog instead of a puppy, usually around 18 months. But male dogs, you're talking two years. <laughs> and then um, our girls are usually more dominant, more alpha, more in charge more moody um, and um, as far as like training goes I wouldn't say that one is any less um, easier to train or more easier to train I think a lot of it is just that oh, right here, mama. Um, they just, just want to please their owner so male or female I think that they both want to please and they're both pretty easy to train however girls can be a little more stubborn when it comes to I don't want to listen to you right now. Um, so they want to be on their own terms, but they're still intelligent and they want to um, please you guys. And so I think that's pretty, pretty consistent either way. Um, what else? And I don't see a difference really in potty training or, um, anything. Alexis, do you think of anything? I think the biggest would just be the moodiness yeah. and the goofiness. Mm -hmm. um, Boys are definitely more goofy for longer and girls are moody and sometimes they want to be by themselves and sometimes they want to be on top of you. But it just depends on their mood. Yeah. That's a cut it. Yeah, I agree. Really? Really? You are vocal today. <laughs> um, do you think it's better to start your first dog as a boy or a girl? I don't think it matters. Um, if you've never had a dog before, um, girls are going to be a little more stubborn, so you need to just know that. But I don't think it really matters, boy or girl. Um, they're both going to be loving. They're both going to want to be with you. They're both going to want to please you. Um, and if you're consistent in what we try to explain and how you guys should train and socialize, you're going to have an amazing companion, regardless if it's a boy or a girl. So I think you'll be happy either way. Um, I know another question that we were getting asked sometimes was, um, if you already have a boy, um, should you get a boy or a girl? If you already have a girl, should you get a boy or a girl? Um, and this is just in any breed, not necessarily that you have two clique high, but um, two dogs. And so that was another good question. Um, if, if your dog that you already have is already spay or neutered, and um, they, even if they're not, and that you plan to get them spay or neutered, then I think you can go either way if you have a girl. If you have a boy that is um, spay or neutered, or neutered, I guess, for a boy, then you probably could go either way as long as your boy is not dominant. Um, if you have a boy that is dominant, you probably want to go with a girl. 
If you have a boy dog who is not neutered, I would say you want to get a girl. Um, and hopefully anybody who already has a, a dog that, um, and they're looking to get a second, hopefully their first one is already spay or neutered because you don't want any accidents. Um, but that's just some uh, tips for you guys, for anyone who was asking before, which way should you go? I think for the most part, you'll be fine either way. It's gonna depend a lot on the dog you already have. How often do you get all white dogs with reddish colored tints or lighter masks or white dogs that develop a lighter mask than others? Um, so a white dog shouldn't develop a, um, a tint per se. You might see a little bit of cream coming through that is really still white. Um, but maybe a little darker shade of white, but for the most part a white is a white and they shouldn't have um, markings. If you see a dog that has um, where you can see markings, um, they used to call that, I think they were calling it Sinars before. Um, I haven't seen a dog, um, a white clique height that had that in a really long time, so I don't even know if that's still a thing, but a white should be a white and it should stay all white. Um, as far as how many whites we produce in general, uh, not many, I would say maybe five a year. Um, and that's because we don't necessarily breed for white puppies. Um, the white dogs, even though they're beautiful and they're still an Alaskan clique hive, they are not to the breed standards. And so an Alaskan clique hive should have a mask and um, it's a disqualification. So of course they can't be bred, they can't be shown if they're all white. So as a breeder, what do we want to do? We want to improve the breed, right? We want to try to breed puppies that are breed quality, that are breed standard quality, and that means trying not to have a bunch of white puppies. Um, and so that's why we don't intentionally try to get a bunch of white puppies, but we do have a lot of people who really want the whites and like them. Um, but again, that's our reasoning behind it. So there are times when we will make an exception and breed dogs intentionally that we know can throw the white puppies. And that's because we're hoping for something um, specific, obviously not white, but like we bred um, trout and um, cashmere together because they're both light gray. And we were hoping that we could get some light gray puppies um, that are more silver tipped that look like um, Simba or Kika. And um, that was our hope. Well, last time we tried that and we got two white puppies. Um, and so we decided to try it again. This time we got three puppies, only one was white. So we get them, not that often. Uh, last question before we switch. Okay. Um, do they like to cuddle? Yes, so um, hopefully you are looking at our other videos. Um, one of the videos we made was the top five reasons um, for owning an Alaskan clique high. And my number one reason was that they're, com they're like the best companions. They want to be with you all of the time. Um, again, there's always an exception to that. Not every clique high wants to be all up in you, but for the most part, if you see these puppies, this is what they want. They want to be in our arms. They want to jump on us. They want to lay with us. Um, and then when they get a little older, they may have their moments where they just want their alone time. They want their crate time. But for the most part, our dogs want to cuddle and want to be with us. And you're a little booger. You are a booger. Quit eating my cords. Um, so for the most part, yes. Again, there's always that exception where there's one dog maybe who doesn't. Um, Kika, for example, always wanted to be near us, but she wanted to sleep at the foot of the bed. She didn't want to be up in our space. Um, so there's always that one. Hi. Hi. All right, we ready to switch a room? You guys are getting tired. Not you. <laughs> Not you, huh? You're the crazy one. Are you the crazy one? I'm ready. Okay, all right, we are going to switch them and we're gonna get uh, Nova. And now we're going to go over some training tips. And Nova is seven, um, a little over seven weeks old. 
And so she's, of course, a little bit younger than what um, you guys would get whenever you bring home a puppy. However, she um, is staying here with us, and so we're going to start training her. And so I thought it would be great to um, work with her a little and give you guys just our tips on um, how we would do it. And since we are keeping her, this is um, a perfect opportunity to show you guys. And so... Alexis, if you could grab her, yep. and then um, while she's doing that, I'm going to show you guys a couple of things that you're going to want. Um, I, hey honey, can you hand me that collar right there? I think this is going to be too small for her. The, the purple one? Yes. Okay. So, we're going to get her. Now, when you guys are um, training a new puppy, you have to remember a few things. Um, for one, they have the attention span of a toddler, which means you cannot expect to work with them for 20 minutes at a time because they are going to get frustrated and irritated and impatient. And so you're going to work through several um, five minute sessions throughout the day, each day. and the best way to do it is with one of their meals because that's a constant reminder. Like if you feed your puppy two or three times a day, then you know mealtime is not um, just mealtime. They have to work for it. And so if you teach your puppy that they have to work for their food, um, it is for one, it's gonna motivate them to, um, to do what you're asking them to do because they're hungry. And second of all, it gives you an opportunity to bond with them and not just set their food down and walk away. And so every day you can work with them. That's the best way that I do. I don't use a lot of treats. I've said that over and over. I don't use a lot of treats. Um, special occasions, when I'm really working on somebody who's stubborn, um, that kind of thing. Maybe if, if a dog isn't really food motivated, I will say almost every one of our eight week old puppies is definitely food motivated. So you can just use their dog food. And remember, when your puppy goes home, they're probably five pounds or less. Um, if they're over five pounds, it's not gonna be much over five pounds. So if you are filling them up with uh, treats three or four times a day for training, then guess what? They are not going to eat their food, so they're not getting um, the nutrients that they need. Then they're gonna decide that they don't wanna eat their food anymore because all they're gonna want is um, treats. And you're going to create a monster child <laughs> where they don't wanna listen and they uh, don't wanna eat their food and they become picky eaters. Just an FYI, they were all sleeping. She's the only one that didn't go pee first. Oh, Lordy. Um, well, I'd rather her go out front and go potty then. I know, I was gonna do that, but. Yeah, could you? Um, so she's also doing really, really well in potty training, so I would hate to set her down and have her go potty right here. Um, just whenever you go out there, just ignore her because she's gonna stand right at your feet. I know, I'm potty trained. Okay, she knows. Who do you think I am? I don't know, who are you? So um, while she does that, just because if she already goes potty, then obviously she's going to um, respond a little better. And of course, we don't want to teach her to potty on a pee pad. So you're going to want to um, have your food that you're going to use, whether it be a treat or their kibble, in something. It could be in their bowl. It could be in a pouch. And you're going to want a collar on them. And you're going to want a leash. And so you don't have to have... Um, control of the leash but remember an eight-week-old puppy probably has never had a collar on hasn't had a leash on and so this is a good opportunity for you to get them used to these things um, and we don't leave collars on our eight-week-old puppies because um, there's multiple puppies for one and so they chew them off of each other they could hurt each other especially some of the collars that tighten um, by pulling on it and then it'll just tighten and it could choke the puppy so we don't leave them on for that reason um, and so we're gonna use this as a perfect op opportunity to get her used to a collar. And then as far as the leashes go, a lot of us are gonna have these really long, they're thin, but they're really long collars, or I'm sorry, leashes. And so this is way too long whenever you're trying to teach a puppy um, to drag this around, and they're just gonna drag it around in pee or water and get a, make a mess. So you want to have a super short leash because your puppy is really, really tiny. And so we're gonna have a super small one. I would normally use um, 
a choke chain on her, but she's not even eight weeks old yet. So I'm not going to put this on her. I'm just going to put a regular collar. If you guys are new and you weren't here last week, um, I love these really, really thin. They're called snow, um, the snake choke chains, which is for showing um, for dog shows. And you can get them on Amazon. They're also in the link in our last week's video. And there's several different sizes, but they're really thin and they um, don't choke the dog out. They're not heavy and the dog will respond very quickly if they learn to use that. So that is what that is. Let's see if she can fit into Nala's old. Hello. Hi. Hi, baby girl. So I haven't worked with her at all. Okay, just so you guys know, she has not had any training. She's still kind of young, um, with the exception of going potty outside. Um, and we'll see how she does. Come here, mommy. Um, Hey, Lexa, I forgot the, can you grab me? I have some treats, but I wanted to give her the food. Her meal. So can you just give me the little cup with food? I've got some in here already. So, perfect. So, um, when your puppy has never had a collar on or a leash, you're gonna give them a few minutes to get used to it. She'll probably drag it around. If you just saw her, she heard the dog food, and so she's already getting excited because she hears it. Um, and so <laughs> that's her bed. Come here. And what I wanted to show you, and she went way over there, is that when you first put this collar on, they're going to start scratching. Come here, mama. And um, try to get it off. They don't like it at first. So she's, you'll see her doing that, which is perfectly fine. This is just her getting used to it. And so the first thing we want to do, remember in some of the videos we talk about is their nose and um, using <laughs> Using their nose is going to stimulate their brain. It's going to give them exercise without even walking around. And um, that's because 60% of the brain function is with their nose. And so the more that they smell things, the more they're going to get tired. So she can smell this and she smelled a bone and she found a bone and we're not having that. And so we, um, we don't have any of the other puppies in because we can't train her if there's distractions. So we can't have other puppies around. We can't have kids making a lot of sounds. We can't have the TVs on. We can't have our mom in here. So it has to be a pretty quiet um, time where you're bonding with your puppy and you are trying to get their attention and get them to focus on, come here, Tabba, on you and what you're wanting them to do. Normally I would be standing up and I'm doing this, but because I want to show you guys, we are going to get her attention here. And so what you're going to do is you're going to take whatever it is that you have, and we'll see if she's going to do this with food, because I know she ate some earlier. Um, and if she doesn't, we'll get her a treat. So we want her to smell this. So now she smells. So we got her attention with the smell. And we have this on for a reason. We want her to get used to it, but we also are controlling her. So she's not in control. We're in control. And obviously I have all of these things down, which are distractions. So that's not good because she's gonna wanna go do all those things. So I might have to get her a treat and then I'll go back to the kibble. So now I have this treat and whenever she's never had this on, you're going to literally just have her smelling this and you're gonna call her as soon as she's done scratching. So remember, she's not going to want to come to us because she's never had this on her neck. So she's going to pull and twist and I'm not pulling her. She's pulling. All I'm doing is just holding her here. No, no, good girl. This way. So she can't go that way. She's going to get mad. No. Come here. Come here. So we want your attention over here. Good girl. That was a good girl. So a lot of praise, a lot of praise, a lot of praise. And we're not going to give her a lot of treats. We're giving her a lot of love, letting her know that we are um, expecting her to do something. And when she does it, she gets lots of love because this breed is a companion breed, which means what? They want to please us and they want love from us. They want all the love and attention. And we got baby puppies over there crying. So we'll that's a distraction, which remember we talked about distractions and trying to get their attention. So how I long is the leash you're using? Uh, this is a three foot. Good girl, you just sat. Now, 
When you see a puppy sit and you didn't tell her to sit, you can use the whatever word it is. If it's going to be sit is the command, then you could say good sit, good sit, because she sat on her own. And that's just positive reinforcement, and it's also teaching her the word. So we need her to associate what she did with the word you're going to use, which is your command. Number. And now, once we get her attention, and you guys remember, she is not eight weeks yet, so we're trying this with a puppy who is a little younger than I would normally do, but I figured she's a pretty smart puppy. Come here, Nova. And she's hating this collar. Another thing is, um, you might not want to put the collar on her for the very first time and instantly go into training mode, which is what I did, right? So that's probably a big no-no because she's not used to this, so she's instantly scratching at that. And um, we wanna give her a little time to just drag this around and feel what it is like. And um, she's a little spazzy right now. So if your puppy is kind of hyper, and a little all over the place, then let her get some exercise. So you can take her outside and let her run and throw the ball and get her a little tired, but not too tired to where she doesn't even, don't eat that, where she doesn't even want to pay attention to you, but she may need to burn off a little bit of energy. She was doing that right now before she came in. So she shouldn't um, be too tired for us to expect a few things out of her and so at this point I'm going to give her this treat even though she hasn't earned it because I want her to smell what I have she's never had this before ever and if um that doesn't work then look 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 do you have a question yes look. what size harness would an eight week old puppy mm, I don't know because I don't use harnesses um I'm not sure I would say you're gonna have to just go off of the weight because since I don't use harnesses, um, it's really hard for me to know for sure. Um, and you can ask, um, depending on what size of puppy you would be getting, you can get a pretty good idea of the weight. I would say most puppies go home before um, they hit five pounds. Uh, sometimes the standard will be a little over five pounds but they're not much more than five if they are. So you can talk to somebody at the pet store or if they have the, um, if you're doing it online, you can look at what the, um, the size um, requirements are and go off of weight. Um, and if it doesn't go off of weight, then you might have to ask for what the measurements are around um, your puppy's chest, I'm guessing. Um, again, I have never bought them, so I'm not sure. <laughs> and she's starting to get, she doesn't even know if she likes this. Um, that's good. Out of curiosity, why don't you use harnesses and what do you use instead? Come here. So I don't use harnesses um, because too many click high have um, escaped. Not necessarily my dogs, but too many dogs in general um, for this breed have pulled backwards out of a harness. And I know that technologies changes and things keep changing and there's probably better harnesses out there. Um, but I also feel like I can't control the dog whenever the dog is wearing a harness. So a harness will um, most likely have the hook back here on their back. And with that, you can't control which way your dog goes. So if you notice, watch most people when they're walking a dog with a harness. The dog is out in front and the owners are just kind of letting the dog go wherever. I want to be in control of my dog and I want my dog to know that I'm the boss, they're not the boss, so they don't lead our walks. I lead the walks. I'm gonna tell them where we go and um, you can't do that with a harness in my opinion. Um, if there is a harness out there that somebody on here is using that you can, please let us know in the comments below um, because I'm sure other people might be interested to know that. So what I use, all of my dogs are always walked um, with a show choke chain, which is what I just had. Wherever I put it. Where did I put it? And Oh, it's up there. But that's a different one. So this is what I use, no matter what the age of my dog is, um, this is what I use for 
walking my dogs and they all have regular collars but when I'm walking I hook them to this choke chain because I can control them <laughs> no look at me um they aren't in control I'm in control I can keep them on a certain side of me if they get spooked they can't slip out and um it's easier for me to train them and they know what I expect of them so that's why so even little miss Nova here will have a choke chain and they sell um, 10 to 12 inch size. And so as soon as she's old enough, she'll have one for all of her walks and training. Um, because like even this, she can hop all over the place and she can still be in control because this doesn't bother her that I'm holding it. <laughs> can, um, hey Lex, can you give me a little piece of um, chicken? Because she could care less about From this. The fridge, a little piece of um, chicken meat. I want to see if I can get her attention. So she um, has already eaten dinner because it's a little late, and so she's not really hungry, and she doesn't care for the treat, and she's too busy over here being a busybody who wants. Yeah, that's right. From dinner? Yeah. <laughs> From my dinner. Um, so I'm gonna get something else. So. Remember, every dog's a little different, and in the very beginning, oh, now she's like, oh, I guess I'll eat that. Um, oh, once she smells this, it's game over. Yeah, I don't. I just want a little bit because I'm not going to keep giving her a bunch of that. Um, so right, yeah, that's perfect. I just need to get her attention, so that way I can show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, come here, little Missy. No, but so you're going to use every opportunity you can to teach her her name, right? She's not going to know her name. So whenever you call her, call her by her name and it could be a whistle. It could be, come here, no, but, and what I'm doing is I'm gently pulling her leash and I'm moving my hand and look at that. Oh my goodness. It's chicken. It's chicken. Yeah, buddy. Okay, and so now I have her attention, see that? So nothing else worked. So you guys will have to see what works for you and your puppy. This worked, chicken. And so we're going to teach her to come towards me. And so I'm holding the leash very gently, but I'm also guiding her to come where I want her to go. And now we have her attention, she likes this, that's good. So now we're gonna work on her very first command which is going to be sit, and that is perfect. Do you see how she just sat? Good sit. Now, I wanna show you when she doesn't do that on her own. She just did that on her own, I didn't teach her, but because a hand was up high and she was trying to smell it and she just sat to be patient for me. So if she doesn't, do you see how I'm putting my hand? Come here, you're not taking that off. No, no, sit. And so what you're doing is you have the smell. You're not giving this to her yet, right? All we're doing is getting her attention and we're gonna call her name, Nova, sit. And all I'm doing is putting this up a little bit towards her nose <laughs> so that it's forcing her head back to sit. So it's forcing her to go into that sit position. And then of course she's being really good. So I need to give her a little because if I don't give her a little, what's gonna happen is I'm going to lose her interest because she's not getting a reward in the food and I'm basically teasing her. And so she's really being pretty good considering that she's never been on a leash, she's never been on a collar and I'm expecting these things out of her. So of course some of this is a little chicken fell. So I'm gonna do a few more times and I wanna use the word. So sit and do you see that already? Like. Literally, I'm not joking, I've never done this with her, okay? This breed is super, super smart. Sit, do you see that? And she's learned really fast that, ooh, I go back so that I can smell the treat and look at what she's getting, chicken, amazing. Is Nova weaned yet? Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> we would like her to be weaned. Um, Nova is, um, should be weaned. She is still nursing a little bit, and that's because Diamond does not want to stop nursing her. Good sit, good sit. So um, she's not completely weaned. However, it's pretty um, small amounts that she is nursing, and it's a little bit harder when we keep our own puppies because um, the moms are going to see them all the time. And so if they want to keep nursing, they're gonna to wanna to keep nursing, it's harder for us. But for the most part, she eats dry food, she sleeps all night by her, 
well, I won't say by herself. She sleeps through the night. Um, sit, good sit. So that is awesome. All right, hopefully you guys got the idea on what she's doing here. So now, obviously she's still sitting, but I don't want her to sit, so no, come. Sit, good girl, good sit. Very good sit. I'm literally giving her tiny, tiny, tiny little pieces, but it's getting her attention. And because it's something she's never had, it's super, super yummy. And um, she really likes it. So she's doing whatever I want her to do and she doesn't even realize it. No, sit, sit, no. Good girl, good sit. You are doing awesome. That's a good girl. No, come. Now sit. Okay. No. Now sit. Oh, scratch, scratch, scratch. Good girl. And so this is an opportunity right now. Remember, she's never had this leash on. To get her to. Good job. Good girl. Very good sit. So hopefully you guys saw that. So she literally came over and she sat down on her own because she wants this chicken. Good girl, you done the job. That's a good baby. That was a good girl. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We don't want you to sit right away. Let's see. So, Nova, sit. Oh, she's like, there's food down here. So I'm going to get a little piece. She probably smells some. Nova, sit. And so I want her attention. I'm losing her attention now. So I need to get her attention. And of course, she's smelling all the chicken pieces on the floor. Nova, sit. Good sit. Very good sit. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. And so I have this leash on, remember, and um, it's just to keep control of her, but it's not bothering her. Only thing bothering her is that she's got this collar on. She doesn't want that uh, feeling around her neck. So, Nova, sit. Nova, sit. Good girl. Very good girl. So, once they have one, um, thing down for the, this has obviously been longer than five minutes and she's being tolerant. So that's why I kept going, but you don't want to keep going if they aren't responding and they're still all over the place or, um, pulling away from you constantly, then you need to exercise them a little bit here. I'm going to get this and, um, and then try back again in a, in a couple hours. And you can do this literally while you're watching TV, um, for just a few minutes. And you'll do this several times throughout the day. And then you can introduce the next thing. So now that I'm already working on her to sit, I'm gonna work on come, right? And I'm working on her coming to me and I'm gonna reward her for the come. And so if you remember, it's whatever command you use, everyone in your family needs to use the same command. And so, um, so that she doesn't get confused. So I can't say sit and, and somebody else say sit down because sit down might mean something different than sit. And so same with down. If it's gonna be down, then it's gonna be down. If it's gonna be off, that means not so they don't jump on you, then it's gonna be off. Everybody needs to be on the same page because she's gonna get confused otherwise. Very good girl, very good girl. And so she still wants this chicken, so I'm gonna see if I can get her to, to do something a little different because she's picked up on sit really good. Good sit. So I wasn't telling her to sit, but because I am teaching her that command and she's sitting, I'm going to keep giving her this stuff because right now is very fresh for her. She's never done this. And I want this to be such a positive experience that she's like, oh my God, I'll do anything for that piece of chicken or I'll do anything for my meal or I'll do anything for the love. And so, um, I'm going to keep rewarding her right now just because she deserves it. And she's super young. Um, but as she gets a little older, you're not going to be as giving with all of the treats. A lot of it is going to be, or even the food, it's going to be a lot of physical praise and love and um, petting, that kind of stuff. So that way your dog is not only um, obedient if you have food in your hands. So we don't want them to do that. So we want them to just be um, happy to please us and not always expect food. So once that you spent a few days doing this and you feel like she's doing pretty good, then you're going to try to just... Um, have her do it and not give her food, but just give her praise. <laughs> She's still going crazy for it. So, Nova. Nova. Sit. Wow, good sit. Good girl. That was 
such a good girl, yeah. So this is a lot of love, a lot of praise, a lot of fun, huh? Yeah, that was a good girl. That was a good girl. Do we have any questions? No, ma'am. Okay, cool. So I want to try to get her to do something else um, because she's got the little sit down. So we are going to see if I can get her to have a, have a sit. So I'm not going to give her a reward for sitting. I want her to do something else before I give her the reward. But I've got that smell. Oh, I have one now. I have that smell. So because I am making a mess with the chicken and I don't care because I'm on these pee pads, I'm going to cover it because I don't want the distraction. Remember the distractions? So if your dog is distracted, you're not going to get their attention. They're not going to understand what you're asking of them. So you got to cut out the distraction. <laughs> she hates that baller. Yes, what's the question? Uh, do you have any recommendations for how to exercise a puppy while sheltering in place in an apartment? I don't have a private yard to let them run free. Mm. So... Um, an eight-week-old puppy can get lots of exercise within your apartment. It could be simple chase with you, chase and running around the, the room. If, it, if they're really young and eight weeks old, it, hopefully there's two people in the house, then you can have one person on one end of the hallway, another person on the other end of the hallway, and you're going to just call and reward with praise. You can even use this as a training and exercise at the same time. Don't eat that. No, no. Um, because... What you could do is use the command, say come or I'm um, here or whatever it is that you're going to use, and you can be giving them their meal this way even. One of you on one end, come here, whatever it is, give her food. Then the other person on the other end is going to call and she's going to come running. Trust me, they're going to come running because they think it's such a fun game or their favorite squeaky toy. And if you don't have somebody else in the house, then what you could do is hopefully they'll, uh, no, 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 they will, um, they like a certain toy or a ball, uh, something that you can throw down the hallway. No, don't bite me, Missy. And you're going to throw it down the hallway so that they can get exercised that way. If those don't work, then what you can get, can you hand me that, um, the toy, the, the stick one? So oh, yeah. it, it's right there in the, the other room. Um, a lot of things can be done even inside your own house. So playing chase, yeah. fetching balls, uh, this toy here i absolutely love this is on amazon this is probably my best 18 dollars toy so this is a toy that the dogs absolutely love and so this is going to give them exercise you can run down the hallway you can probably walk fast down the hallway and they're going to chase this and it has a squeaker um, so this toy has a squeaker in it and the dogs absolutely love this game well, it's not even really a game but it's a toy it's a fishing pole with a squeaker toy on it, and it's tied in a knot because our dog's already destroyed it because we left it out. So do you see? She, can they see her? Yeah. <laughs> so this is amazing. So right now she won. She has it. So I gotta wait for her to either. Ha! Ah. No, I could literally. She's gonna chase this thing, and here's your exercise right here because you're a one-man band. No problem. You got this. Of course, you know you need to let her win. Right, so she's got to win once in a while, and I'm in a small area, so I'm not able to really move this a lot. But you can you can run down the hallway with it; they're gonna chase you. So there's a lot of things you can do on your own, and then you can still go out um, outside and social distance without being super close to people, and she's still gonna be able to get exercise. Just because she hasn't had all of her shots, if you know that your area is clean and there's not a lot of um, wildlife, then you want to take them out and get them as exposed as much as you can, as young as you can. So she could still go on a walk, uh, I would say outside of your complex. So if you have a pet friendly complex and there's a lot of dogs probably all throughout that complex, I would go outside of your complex, so it'll probably be a little safer. But get her walking right away, get her used to a leash. Um, come here. So that is definitely some of the things you can do. So seriously, you can be watching TV on your couch with this and you're going to be exercising your dog. Puppies get tired really fast. They sleep a lot. So she'll only need like 10 minutes of this and she'll be toast. Super helpful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. 
Um, so this is also good too. So we got her distracted from her training session, right? Now we're rewarding her. So your rewards could be treats. It could be toys. It could be love and praise. And since she obviously really likes this, this could be what she gets for obeying and doing what I'm asking her to do with her training. My little light went off. How's my lighting? Because it went off. Can you see that? Oh. Um, One of my lights died. It's still fine. Okay. That's fine. I liked it better with it on, but... We have another one. You can get the other it one. It might have just shut off because of the... Oopsies. Just kicked it. Oh, this thing is on fire. Okay. That's I think fine. it's fine. Just it's leave fine. it. We'll leave it. I didn't charge that. So it's been on. an hour. Oh, okay. Come here. No, but... So, of course, we don't want to just pull this right out of her mouth. No, but we're going to try to call her and get her over here, but she likes it this time. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Whoa, what happened? You can see it in her eyes now. She's getting tired. <laughs> Either that or you're super smart. You like you just not gonna waste your energy. So hopefully, anyone who has a puppy, you guys see this toy. This thing is amazing. This is on my website too. I have the link to it. This is probably our absolute favorite because we don't have to do a lot of work and we don't have to throw it and go get it. It comes right back to us because it's on a stick. Good girl, you did good. All right, let's see if we can get our attention. Good job, Nova. Nova, let's fix all this bad stuff. What time is it? Like 7 10. All right, cool. So we'll do a few more minutes of her and then we'll get the rest of the crew in. Nova, remember I took her call or her leash off because I didn't want her chewing on that one. Um, remember that the puppies will chew on them if they are left unattended. So you want to pay attention to that. And of course, we want her to get used to it and drag it around, but we don't want to um, have her destroy it. Nova, Nova. Nova. So of course she doesn't know her name yet, so we want to use her name as much as we can. Nova, Nova, come. We're gonna use the command. The gate's open. Hey. We're gonna use the command, even though she doesn't know it yet, because she's gonna to start to associate it. <laughs> Hi, Mama. She found Alexis, and she loves Alexis. Hi, baby. And so now I've lost her. So remember how we talked about distraction. There's the distraction. Thank you. Okay. Go get your treats. Come here. Come here, look at this. Look at what I got. <gasps> look at what I got. So it's been, a, what, five, ten minutes. Let's see if she remembers anything. Nova, sit. <laughs> I don't know if that was an actual sit or if it was, I hate this collar. Nova. So this is a perfect opportunity. Look, I have chicken in my hand. She doesn't care anymore because remember that attention span? It's like five minute attention span and we actually probably pushed it a little bit longer. So now is the time where you have to just stop because there's no point just going between the wires. Um, there's no point in sitting here trying to get her attention. She's not gonna listen, she doesn't care. So she's done. Um, so we gotta move on and um, try again in a couple hours because <laughs> she's over it. All right. Uh, what happened? I picked her up and she didn't want me to. Oh <laughs> Drama mama, huh? Mm. You're Drama. fine. You're fine. All right. Fine. So if you guys have any questions, please put them down below. Um, I am going to get the rest of the pups in. But before we do that, if you guys can do me a favor, take a few minutes and um, give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. And then I also wanted to um, let everybody know before I bring the other puppies in here. Two things. We are going to give away two things today, away. randomly, okay? And they are going to be based on comments um, down below. And so Alexis and I are going to pick two winners. Um, one of them is going to be for somebody who already has a puppy from us. If you already have a Klikai from us, I would like for you to put a comment down below with your name because I know a lot of times your guys' names are not your actual name and I want you to put your puppy's name and um, we will randomly send somebody 
a new toy. And so if you already have a puppy from us, you know that all of our puppies um, go home with the toy um, that has the squeaker. So one of you guys is gonna get one of these. But Jordy, you have to have a puppy and it has to be from us. Sorry for those of you who don't. But from us, please comment below. And then for anybody, we don't care if you have a puppy, don't have a puppy on our waiting list, waiting for a puppy, um, have one from another breeder. Um, we are going to give away one of our decals, which I have a couple of these shirts um, and hats. And so this is an iron on, and we are going to randomly select one of you. And what we will do is I need your guys' email address in your comment. Um, hopefully you're okay with that. I don't know why you wouldn't, but if you aren't, then you can email me. Um, if I, I don't even know how I would be able to do that. You would have to email me. So, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to notify you. So you have to put your email address and we are going to randomly pick one of you guys and you will get this mailed. So I've got two gifts, okay? Both of you guys um, will win and we will mail them for you. Tomorrow. So by the end of this today, I will go out there with Alexis and we'll pick two random winners. And that's just because we want to um, tell you guys how much we appreciate all of you guys for joining us every Thursday and for um, asking all of the questions and interacting with us. Hi, Nopa. Um, so that's our appreciation to you guys. And now we will grab the rest of the puppies and um, let them tear up the room because that's what they're going to do. Yeah. All right. Let me put some stuff up because I don't want them to eat this, and they will. Um, do you want to take Nova's collar off too for me, hun? Yes, Because I don't want her to get that chewed up. They're probably going to go crazy with this chicken right here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, okay, and then maybe I can sit back and relax, huh? They're going to be rambunctious for sure. Kind of bummed my light went out, honey. We got, we got back up. I know. Can you get the other one? Yeah. <clears throat> Although, there'll be a little shaking going on moving it. Well, it's going to be shaky yeah. with all these puppies running yeah, we around. We could just set it right here. Do the next one. Baby! I got to sit down because if I don't sit down, they're going to pee on my, my, my spot. Hi, Mama. Come here. I'm going to put some treats. Um, this is the Kong Wobbler that uh, we talked about last week whenever we did the enrichment stuff. And I have that dog food in here. So I'm going to put some in here for the puppies and um, let them play while they get the rest of the puppies. Ooh, what's in there? I have mostly dog food, but because there is a few treats, I'm just letting them go in there because they'll enjoy that. Um, and then remember last week, for those of you that were on here last week, we talked about the enrichment stuff. And um, I showed you guys these two treat um, Two bones that have this replacement, I don't even know what these are called anymore, Stark, Stark Mark, um, they're from Petco, but we gave them to the dogs last week. We already had to replace them because they absolutely love these. If you guys already have a dog who loves to chew or teeth, you have to get one of these. They are amazing. They absolutely love them and it lasts them a long time. Um, so I'm going to sit. Did you, were you able to get that one? Yeah. You want me to put it on there? Uh, <clears throat> I can do it. Can I just... Oh, I need the, the vacuum. Okay. I'm going to sit in my chair, guys. Hopefully my sound is still good. because I've been hurt otherwise. Yay. Hi, how is my babies? Hi. My oh. husband's getting the light fixed. Yes? Hey. Huh? Um, everybody's emails, it lets us pick if we want to 
show them or hide them. Oh, nice. So it has an option. For everybody who posted an email, it says show or hide, and I can pick either one. Say show. Be we, on all we, of them? We need to say show because otherwise, once we are done with the live, it will not show up. All right. Um, hi. How are my babies? So for those of you guys that are new, we've got um, little Anova, the bully over there. So she's the oldest, of course. So she's going to be um, the little brat. And then we have um, Cashmere's puppies that are almost almost seven weeks. They're six and a half weeks. And then uh, Bella's puppies are just barely turned six weeks. And that's what we have. And remember I told you guys about those toy bones? Those things, they absolutely love them. One of the best things we bought. Yeah. Uh, it, you can put it on, um, there's multiple levels. If you hit it again, I think it'll go a little stronger. Sorry, we're trying to get the lighting so that you guys can, there. Okay. Perfect, thanks, Danny. You're welcome. Um, so, and then remember, I put some treats in the in the wobbler. So we've got one puppy who smells the wobbler, and we've got one puppy over here with um, this cow hoof bone. And then you got one puppy chewing on the toy, you got one puppy chewing on me, you got one trying to get into the wobbler. So this is all enrichment stuff here, guys. So this is stuff that is going to keep your busy, keep your puppy busy. They're using their nose, which is making them tired. And it's also like, especially the Kong wobbler is something that they have to figure out. Remember last week we had some puzzles and things. And so this is something that he's got to figure out on his own. He's got to figure out how he's going to get those treats out. He smells it. There's chicken in there, there's food in there, and there's treats in there. And you are chewing on me, no chewing. And so um, if your puppy is a teether and they're chewing on you, um, you want to correct them and give them something that they can chew on. So give them the toy, give them a bone, give them something that they can teeth and chew on instead of your hands. So just positive reinforcement, replace the bad with the good. So we name all of our puppies, but we don't um, call them by the names we give them. So that's why you can hear that I just say puppy, puppy, or um, pup, pup, or just whistle, because um, those, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, those names are just for our paperwork purposes and not a name that we um, call our puppies. So we don't want to confuse you. Here. Sure, Missy. That's your sister. Hi. Hi, Mommy. Hi. Hi. Little Hercules is still trying to figure out how he's going to get um, the treat out of the wobbler, which is a fun, awesome little game for them. Um, it'll entertain them for a long time. So you guys can enjoy your dinner, or if you have to go to the grocery store, step away for a while. They can be in a safe little play area and um, give them something that's going to, for one, keep them busy and preoccupy them from you leaving, and also teach them that independence is okay and being alone is okay and that you're going to be back. So this could be a great gift for um, your puppy when you bring your puppy home to keep them entertained. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, why are you chewing on my face? Here. Here. Um, I have... Do we have any questions or are we good? Um... Okay. <laughs> we got a lot of people um, sending us messages, huh? Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to win, win, win. We also got to pick names on the other puppies, so let me forget. That's two L names. Um, are we shipping yet? Um, we are shipping, hopefully. However, um, it's very limited, so we can supposedly ship, but we can only ship with... Um, American United is not open, so United is not shipping. Can you tell they're food motivated? Here. Um, 
So we cannot ship with United. We can ship with American. But we can't ship if it is over 85 degrees um, with American Airlines, which means as we get further and further into summer, it is going to be pretty difficult for us to ship um, our puppies to most places. Um, if United opens back up, then we won't have a problem with shipping regardless of the weather because um, United has temperature controlled um, cargo vans and so they uh, don't worry about what the weather is because the dogs are not transported um, on a tarmac or anything. And uh, with United, there's no guarantee what type of vehicle they'll have to be transported in. So that's why the weight, I mean the weather is um, depending on if they can ship or not. This question's for myself. <laughs> which, um, which giveaway is for emails? The, um, the, the, the iron-on? I, I need it for both because okay. I need to be able to contact them for their address. Okay. Okay. So we need we need name and email for owners of uh -huh. your puppies, and we need a... I need their name and their puppy's name. Got it. And okay. then for anyone else, I just need um, their name and their email, so that way we can reach out to them and um, okay. send them to them, and we'll get those in the mail tomorrow if they respond back with their info. Once, occasionally twice, but most of them are only once. But we do have, depending on the dog and if they bounce back um, and what their heat cycle is like, hey, 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 no. If they have a um, seven or eight month heat cycle, obviously they would only be once a year. want to be with other dogs um, if if you don't socialize them at all around other animals uh, you might have a little bit of a, a dominancy issue that you'll need to work with but for the most part they're pack animals so they want to be with other people hey I mean other dogs nice makes it somewhat hard to know for sure because we haven't been around very long um, but in general it's 12 to 17 years for small dogs and so they kind of were saying the same thing 12 to 17 years however lately I've been seeing more and more things about sorry Nova is being a bad girl no um, around 14 to 18 years is the latest thing I was reading and I would agree with that more than the 12 to 17 because um, even Kiko was older so um, I would say my opinion 14 to 18 but I have heard in the past that it was 12 to 17 Yes. Okay, so if you already have a puppy from us, um, then we want to get your information and we're gonna pick randomly one person who um, is going to get a new toy for their puppy. So it's our famous Kiki Kai um, squeaker toy. So if you have a puppy from us, 
send us a comment with your name, your puppy's name, and your email address. And we will randomly pick one person. And then, regardless of if you have a puppy, if you don't have a puppy, whether it's from us or not from us, we don't care. Just randomly, we are going to pick one person and we are going to mail you guys one of our logo um, rhinestone iron-ons. And this can go on a hat, it can go on a bag, it can go on a shirt, it can go on anything. It's just an iron-on. And so one of you will get one of these and one of our puppy owners will get a toy. So if you can send us your info and we will pick somebody for each of those. enjoying being able to sit back and relax for a minute. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Not my shoelaces. Not my shoelaces. Um. <laughs> so feisty. I know. They're so cranky right now. Full of energy. So mm -hmm. Cashmere's next letter will be next to you. Yeah, what's, yeah, it will, it'll be hopefully next year, yeah. Um, will you be trying for more reds? Um, we don't intentionally just try for reds, but almost all of our dogs have the red gene, so we can get reds almost all of the time. Um, so it, it just happens when it happens, but yeah, for the most part. Um, like for example, Cessna, I don't know if, um, all of you guys heard earlier, but I'll repeat it again. Cessna's ultrasound was done earlier today. And, um, for those of you who don't know, we have an ultrasound machine, but we don't know what we're doing with it. We're learning. And so we play with it. And so we did an ultrasound with, um, Cessna today. And we think we saw four, maybe even five. And she's due at the end of the, um, month. So I think four, maybe five. We saw a lot of heartbeats and she's due pretty soon. So it's really hard to get a good um, count whenever they're pretty full. She's pretty crowded. Um, but that's pretty exciting. My point with that is Cessna um, is a black and white and she has the red gene and Simba is the daddy and he also has the red gene. So even though mom is black and dad is gray, we can get, um, grays and we can get blacks and we can get reds. We cannot get whites out of that litter because um, Cessna does not have the white gene. I don't know if Simba does yet, um, but if one parent does not have the white gene, we cannot get white puppies. So we know we won't get that, but um, we could get reds. Hi. Hi, buddy. When will Nala be ready for her first litter? Uh, so Nala is actually in season. Um, she is over a year old, but we're not breeding her yet. So she will, uh, depending on what her heat cycle is like, she'll probably be in season, um, in at earliest six months from now. And so it could be anywhere from six to eight months from now. She'll hopefully be bred and then you're talking, she'll be pregnant for nine weeks. So probably next year. Because <laughs> we're already in June. God, we're almost in July. So for sure, yeah, it'll be next next year for Nala. Uh, <laughs> does the price of the puppy go up by shipping or is it the same? Um so oh my god, that was hard. Um the the price is the price, but the shipping cost is extra. So if we have to have a puppy shipped, um that expense is passed on to the puppy buyer. And right now, and it could change, but as of right now, the shipping cost is four seventy-five, dollars And so that includes the airfare, um, their health certificate, their crate, the, um, their bowls and everything that they need to be shipped. So uh, four seventy-five, dollars in addition to the purchase price. And that's as long as it's within the United States. Um, if you are outside of the U.S. or if you are in Canada, um, we would 
if you're outside of the US, we wouldn't be able to ship to you at all. And then if you are in Canada, you would have to drive um, over the border to pick up your puppy at one of the closest airports or fly into California and pick up your puppy. Uh, because in Canada, we, um, we can't ship puppies into Canada at eight weeks old. So we used to be able to, but Canada changed the requirements um, and now it's 12 weeks. So that's why we have to, no, 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 don't need this. So that's why we have to have you come over to the U.S. Just an FYI, no repeat under the table. Okay. It's on the feet. I know. I just don't want you to lean over to grab something. Thank you. How old do they need to be before having their first litter? Um, definitely have after their second heat, sometimes their third. It just depends on the dog. So they have to be over a year, uh, preferably closer to a year and a half. It don't just depend on the dog and when they have their heat cycles. Um, but if they've only had, um, if they come in at six months, then their second heat, if that was also at six months, then they would barely be one at um, their second heat. So we would skip it again and wait until their third. If they don't have their first heat until um, their nine, 10 months, then their second one would normally be six to eight months after that. So they could potentially be 14 to 18 months old. Can you share how you think Hulk and Hercules coloring will change? Uh, their gray coloring looks different, and Hercules looks more silver gray. Yes, and he is. So he's definitely um, a lot lighter, but he's not as light as what Simba or Kika um, looks like as a little puppy. He's fighting me. Um, so he is going to um, be a little darker than Simba. So his. Okay, come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. I want to show everybody. Hi everybody. <laughs> so his he's got a lot of um, buff coloring. Okay, I called you, and that's what I get. Um, so all of this, calm down, Spazzy. All of this tan. <clears throat> all right, let me get up because he's too. <laughs> so, so all of this tan under. <laughs> is going to change. You, you are a spaz today. Was it those treats? Thank you. That is much better. Calm down. So he says, I'm not going that way. So this is a stubborn puppy and he's not gonna win, I win. Thank you. He looks so mad. He is mad, you can see. So do you see this? He doesn't even wanna look at me. That's better. Okay, let's try that one more time. He wants to get down. <laughs> All of this really light tan buff color is going to go away. And what's going to happen is that is going to turn gray. His brother, you can see how much darker he is. So the reason why he looks so much darker is because his undercoat is gray. Hulk's undercoat is cream. So that's why he looks so much lighter. Come here, buddy. Their top coats... Are, are really just the tips of the hair. Hi, handsome. Um, his tips are obviously a lot lighter, white, really. If you look at most of that is really white. His is gray. His undercoat is gray. His under, undercoat is cream. But his undercoat is going to change. It's not gonna stay cream. It's going to turn gray, uh, light gray. And so he's gonna be really silvery looking compared to his brother who's going to be more of a normal gray dog that you've seen um, on the clique high. And then the younger puppies, Rue's puppies, they don't even look like either one of these guys. They are even darker and different color than that. And so they're gonna be even a different look where Rue, um, if you guys know who Rue is, she has a lot of brown undertones and she kept that and she had it as a puppy. Her son is gonna look like that, just like it. He's really got a lot of browns. And some people, that was a wall. Um, some people will mistake them as a red because when they see pictures, they think that they have a lot of red undertone, um, but it's 
it's not red. It's he does she does have brown in there, but she's not considered a red. Um, so yeah, I mean they're going to change a lot. So even though they're they're markings, you can see how distinct they are. That's going to get so much more distinct. And his too. Huh? Yours too. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh boy. Why do they call you? Huh? You are spazzy, spazzy, spazzy. Hi. Hi, Mama. I gotta stay sitting over here or the puppies will pee on my bed. All right, are we ready to pick names? Um, or do you have questions? Um, when they're a little bit older, I want to use the ones that you have a handle. Um, I'm pretty sure I have them on my website, but it's literally just a little, <coughs> hey, I can't talk. It's a handle, and there's a little metal um, bar that goes up, and then it's going to clip the puppy's nail, but I don't use that until they're older. Um, if you do a lot of walking and exercise, they're going to walk um, enough to where they're going to wear them down. And if you have your puppy's nails that are sharp because they only wear them down partially or you cut them, then use a Dremel. And if you're going to use a Dremel, start when they're young and you'll get them used to that sound and the feeling and you'll never have a problem using the Dremel. Um, but they have Dremels specifically just to file the dog's nails down and that way whenever they... Um, either jump on your furniture or on you, they don't scratch up your furniture or you. Um, but when they're young, nail clippers. Okay. Uh, we are local to you. When we get our chance to bring a puppy home, would we pick up a puppy directly from your home or from another location? No, directly from our home. So anybody who um, gets a puppy from us that is coming out to pick up their puppy, they come to our house. And so you'll be right here. In it all. In it all. What are you doing? <laughs> who said you could take the pee pad? Huh? This is why I don't use pee pads. Huh. Yeah, you did. Did you see that on camera? Oh, yes. You just went flying? <laughs> are you guys tired yet? <laughs> How do you feel when a puppy goes home to their new family? <laughs> Happy! Is that a trick question? <laughs> so it depends on um, the situation. I will say, right now, I've got puppies eating my mic in the back. I've got them eating my hair. i got them eating my shoes. When eight weeks comes, I will be ready for them to go so that I can have a break. Um, there are times when we're not this busy that it's a lot sadder because we're like, oh, it's like the last ones or we only had one litter and we are gonna have puppies again for a little bit. Um, and then there's always those ones that you just get attached to for whatever reason. Stop, 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 stop. And so of course it's sad sometimes, but it's also very rewarding because I have such amazing puppy owners and they, they keep in contact with us and they tag us on Instagram and um, they stay in touch, which is awesome because I gotta get my shoes. Um, we wanna hear how they're doing. We wanna see how they're growing. And we love to hear whenever they graduate puppy this or that, or we have some owners that send videos and that stuff's awesome. So we enjoy that a lot, but there are times when we're like, oh, because what you guys don't see is that it's like this all the time. Like, there's no rest. Um, they're always rambunctious. They always make a mess. They always pee and poop everywhere. They always want your attention. They always, always, always. Um, so it's a lot of work. But it's also a lot of fun. Like, you think about having a bad day, 
no matter how bad your day is, all I have to do is come lay down with puppies and let them climb all over you, and it's like the best therapy in the world. So very therapeutic and um, just happy. Like, so, of course, that makes it all worth it, but it's a lot of work. That's a lot of work for the baby. Can you use a human nail dermal or are they different? Um, no, you can use a human one. I'm pretty sure they have different settings, so you can use a human one for sure. <laughs> You'll just want to make sure that whatever um, attachments that you put on, they're not too strong because their nails are going to be a, uh, probably a little different than our nails. And in the beginning, you want to just test it out, but I'm pretty sure you can. So, for therapy, we go to your house? Yes. <laughs> and we leave, by the way. You babysit, we leave. That's our therapy is we get a night out, and your therapy is you get to lay with puppies. Who's asking that? Let me make sure I want them over. <laughs> uh, Carol and Tiffany? Oh, okay. See, yeah. I mean, once things open back up, too, it'll be... So much better because obviously right now it's been everybody's in lockdown and we can't go do a whole lot of anything but um this is definitely therapeutic that's for sure but hopefully just doing the live streams with everybody too is also therape therapeutic for you guys and you can just get your smiles and laughs and happy times huh happy times um hopefully you guys all saw the new video we posted yesterday which um, is about 4th of July for any of you that already have a dog um, and you need to make sure your puppy is prepared for the sounds of fireworks. So if you haven't seen that, go on there and watch that once this is over and um, let us know what you think. And then, hey, that is not nice, not nice at all. Um, I will have the puppy enrichment video done hopefully by the end of the weekend. And that is the video when we talked about all of the different um, ways that you can do mental stimulation with your puppy. Some of them do AI, so you can just do things on your own without having to buy stuff. And then some that you can buy. Um, I will say probably some of my best things is the wobbler. And um, even though that is a bone, it is definitely something that is uh, mental stimulation. Because you see how hard he's working. They can see that puppy, right? The black one. Um, that you see how hard that puppy is working to get the, the food out of there. Those are also dental um, teething, cleaning, clean, dental cleaning bones. And that is by far now my absolute favorite because they love it and it keeps them busy forever. But also the Kong Wobbler. So anyways, I'm kind of going off on a tangent there. But I will get that video out very, very soon. And then anybody who's on our waiting list, um, the puppy um, offers for Ruse puppies. I will be finishing up that video uh, tomorrow, and you guys will get that, don't quote me, but hopefully by tomorrow um, evening, you guys will get an email with the new video and puppy offers. Now we need to talk about puppy needs. Okay. We got a lot, so. Did you happen to write them? I did not. We should have thought of that. Next time, maybe we could do that. I know. I'll be that too. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> we have Lance, London, Lemon and Lime, Lexi and Leo, Larry and Lucy, Leon, uh, Luna. We already have a Luna. Oh, we had a Luna. Yeah. We did have a Luna. Lena, Leia, or Leah, uh, Liam, Leo, Lincoln, Levi, Luna, Landon, Lady, Lana, Luna, Lily, Luca, Luke and Leah, There's oh Leia, Luke and Leia, Star Wars. <laughs> that's so cute. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Lucky and Lulu, Lola, Lila, Lucky. Leo, uh, London, Lu Luna, Leia, Libby, Luke and Leia, Lady. Everybody likes Luke and Leia. I like 
Luke and Leia too. Even though I'm not a Star Wars fan. I but, think it's cute. But it is super cute. Uh, you want to go with that? Uh, Lila, Lily, Lana. Oh, Lightning's cute. Lightning is cute. Lightning's cute. What can we do with Lightning? Uh, lightning. If you guys are listening, what could we put with lightning? Lightning and... over you there. The tired one. She's exhausted. <laughs> is anybody on that is getting Hulk or Hercules or Evan or um, whoa, 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 or Isla, um, Isla, what are we naming the other girls? Sorry, we don't call them by their names, so without me looking at their floor. But if you guys are on and you are getting one of these guys, let us know you're here. Iris and Izzy. Oh, yeah. I, thank you, whoever let us know. Iris and Izzy, huh? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Hi. 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 If you guys are new to our channel and you haven't been here before, you're just joining us. Uh, Ow, that hurt. That was not nice. Um, we go live every Thursday from 6 to 8, and um, we try to do different topics each week just so that um, we have something that's kind of a little educational and also some fun. Um, and so last week we did the enrichment, and then today we did a little bit of training, and I think since we're keeping a puppy, we can add a little bit of training each week if you guys can see um, how she does. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Um, we can see how she progresses. But if you guys have any other topic ideas that we can do while we're live, um, then put it in the comments below so we can come up with some ideas with everybody's um, suggestions. And then if you haven't already subscribed to our channel so that you get notified when we do go live or when we post new video videos um, that we <laughs> that we try to do weekly, but lately it's been kind of crazy because 
as you can tell, we got a million puppies here, and so we don't have time. We don't have time, do we? Um, but please interact with us. Let us know what you guys would like to see, and um, we'll see what we can do to. It'd be nice to get those type of topics up. Oh, uh, Isla's owner is on. Okay. And Iris. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Hopefully, you guys see your girls. Hey, no. The crazies. The crazies. Huh? The crazy. Yeah, you. You're the crazy. <laughs> There she goes. <laughs> How's the sound, guys? Um, does it sound any better? Let us know in the comments below because we added this new little lapel and I'm curious, does it make it sound better? Is it too loud? Is it too low? Are the puppies too loud? Oh my God, you're crazy. Quit fighting me. Nice. Everybody says it's great. Yay! So it worked. Izzy's owner is here too. Oh, nice! Look at look at them. They're mean. Hey, no pick on her. I know. I saw her. I saw her. I saw. Her. I saw her. Yeah, I saw. Her. I saw. Her. What time is it? Seven fifty-four. <gasps> We have six minutes. Do we have any new topics for next week? Hey, no. don't fight. No, don't fight. I don't think so. Okay. So, um, we will definitely go over some new stuff with... Um, oh, puzzle night. Puzzle night? Yeah. Like, um, puzzle night meaning the... The toys for the puppies? No, us doing puzzles. <laughs> yes. The dogs. <laughs> what? Yes, the dogs doing the puzzles. <laughs> you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to play the cup game with them. I want to see if um, if they're smart enough to see when we move the cups. So there's a, a, a enrichment game you could play where you put a treat or food under the um, the, like the solo cups and then you move them around. And the video I saw with the people doing it, they had one cup that was a different color. Oh, you almost got it. Um, and they kept putting the treat in that one, which I think they were associating it with the color even. I thought that was pretty cool. So I wanna try that and see if the dogs. So we can do that. We could do some of that and we could do some more training with little Nova and we'll see if by then she is used to her collar. Huh. I like my shoes, don't eat my laces. No, no, no. Here. Here. No. Here. 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 Oh, here. Where's the, where's the little collar? Did you take the stick? No, you haven't. Oh, I think you put it on the table. Yeah, I think I did. I think I did. They're finally starting to calm down a little bit. Oh, I said. Don't pee on my bed. Don't pee on my bed. Okay, here. Look. It's over here. Look. Don't eat that, mister. No. Look at what, the, look at what they have. No. It's right here, Misty. There you go. You're the one who got it. Hi, handsome. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Look, I think we got the toy. Look. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 
We're fishing. I got me a 12 pound puppy. I'm telling you, everybody better have one of these. This is like their favorite. They love this thing. It even comes with a, an attached, um, I think a replacement, huh? It's a replacement, one of these little rat, uh, raccoon tails. And this toy squeaks. <laughs> oh, heaven one. Hi, buddy. Um, I'm pretty sure it's probably time, huh? <laughs> Two minutes. Okay. We have to say goodbye in a minute. Let go. All right, children. <laughs> so I can't let this go because I'll just eat this. Oh, look at the flying. She's trying to pick winners, so. Well, I'm trying to write them all down so that whenever it refreshes, they don't all just disappear. Oh, gotcha. I would say uh, if you guys have any uh, anything good you want to say on there, try to convince Alexis to send you a gift. <laughs> you better get on it. <laughs> Hi, oh, you're tired. <laughs> Oh, okay, fine this time. Um, all right, so I'm gonna. Can I? Uh, I was gonna say, can I say goodbye? All right, I'm gonna let these guys have it because they're not gonna let go. All right, let's go say bye. Let's go say bye. Come on. All right. Ready? He won't let go. He's not gonna let go. <laughs> Don't pull it out of his mouth. Here, can I have it? Thank you. All right. So we got the oldest litter in my hand, so we'll just sit back with it. Huh? You guys ready to say goodbye? You guys ready? All right, guys. Thank you for joining us on another live stream. And until next time, we'll see you. Bye.